Hello, I'm Ted Baer, publisher of Movie Guide, and I'm here with one of my favorite directors ah. who won our Epiphany Prize, the $100,000 Epiphany Prize for Grace Unplugged. Brad Silverman, you do a great job. Thank you very much. What a, what a privilege to be here today, and that was such a wonderful and memorable night at Movie Guide. Yes, and I know we've interviewed you before, we've put you on stage before, Yes. but I want to go a little deeper. Um, just how you've lived in Hollywood, one, you, your life changed. You uh, mm. actually had a spiritual experience. You came to Christ, right? Absolutely. That's, um, yeah, I was in my early to mid-20s and I'm um, of Jewish background. And a dear friend just started dialoguing with me about, uh, really, at that time, the Jewish roots of the scriptures, which, ironically, uh, was very foreign to me. I really didn't know the the just really the the origins of the scriptures were of such Jewish uh, influence and all that to say over the next three four years as our friendship grew um, the Lord just broke me of my, just just or I should say this he he allowed me to to sort of achieve what what, what the, the effects of me running the show and I just ran myself right into a brick wall. So came to faith in Christ and then just walked away from the industry for about a decade. Um, I don't know if I told you that, but I was, uh, my career was actually just starting to, starting to go somewhere as a writer, director, and um, I walked away for about a decade. Just a, thought I was, just wanted to go in full-time ministry and just thought that that's where the Lord was taking me until about, uh, about four or five years ago when I uh, felt Him calling me to uh, start making movies again. How have... Um How's God sustained you or worked in your process of doing this? I mean, it's it's tough to be a Christian in Hollywood, right? Well, you know, it's interesting. Uh, when I think the best thing that happened to me is funny, the context of just sharing sort of my testimony there for a minute, that when I got back into the film business, I had nothing to lose. You know, I really, there, it was just like, hey, if, if you told me today you can never make movies again, if it meant compromising what I believe to be honoring to God, the answer is no. I walk away. So we, we, we did a film a, f a few years back and then, and then did Grace and it was sort of like if I'd rather not make movies than make movies that I feel dishonor God in the scriptures. And do you see uh, uh, on the horizon, you just told me a couple of your projects, they sound absolutely great. Mm. Um, Super Dad sounds great. <laughs> I'm waiting for those movies <laughs> yes, to be made, be fun. So. You can't make too many of them because I don't want to give you too many awards. Give you yeah. So what's your favorite part of the industry? What do you like about it? Ooh, I don't know if I've been asked that. Favorite part of the industry? Of what you do. Of what I do. Um, Directing, editing. Oh, writing. oh, sure, sure. Uh, I, but I tell you, I, th I think my favorite part is, um, it may sound a little hokey, I guess, but I, I really enjoy the team building process. That's beautiful. I really do. I really enjoy the collaborative process, the, especially the privilege of being a director is no one really tells me what to do, which as it's positives and negatives, but I love the, let's build a team. Let's, let's create an environment. Let's create a culture of that, that we can truly try to build each other up from the ground up. And I love, I mean, it sounds so silly, but I, you know, when, we, when we eat on set, I'll go sit with the interns. I'll go sit and they think it's interesting. Like the interns think, wow, the director is sitting. I'm going, it's just me. But all I have to say, I, just, I love, I think, building that culture of teamwork and that kind of thing. In the old days when my father was a star, you used to get together with everybody. Mm. It was a community affair. We, we played, I remember all those days. And yeah. now the star has to have a trailer. Mm. And then the star's hairdresser has to have a trailer and then the yeah. hairdresser's dog has to have a trailer yes and then, yes and now you're going down the line so everybody's <laughs> locked up and it's just maybe it's just a philosophy of mine it's like no you have to be in the trenches you have to how dare i do that you know how dare i expect someone to do something that i'm not willing to do and the same thing with the actors i think you know i try to encourage them to 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 be a part of this family look it's you're making a movie it's hard work let's have fun let's make it a family environment and and i believe that in that we have so many opportunities to sh to share christ and 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 speak the truth into people's lives and you're married you've i am four, four children four children yes they're doing well <laughs> they are by god's grace they're doing very very well so so you're not 
divorce? You're not leaving to go to Tahiti? Or uh, well, if I'm leaving to Tahiti, it's because my wife planned it, so that's for sure. <laughs> See, this is contrary to what most people think yeah. about the industry. They think the industry is a bunch of uh, people who just are aimless. And, mm. you know, you've got focus. You've got a family. You've got children. Well, I mean, if I may speak boldly, you know, seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and then all the other things will come. And my, my, you know, like, I don't know if you can edit this out if you don't like it, but, um, you know, my, my, my priority is, is the Lord and, and everything that transcends from that, um, everything stems from that. That's my focus. And, uh, you know, I'm not ashamed of the gospel and I know that that may limit certain opportunities I have, but so be it. I, I just have to be true to who the, who I am and who the Lord has made me to be. Thanks for watching. To find out more about entertainment news that follows your values, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and like us on Facebook so you can know before you go.